Thousands of post office branches around the country are on a list for possible closure, many in rural areas. The Postal Service has been struggling financially and lost more than $5 billion this fiscal year. Earlier this month, post offices were given a temporary reprieve, but people around the country continue to voice concerns about the impact on communities. FSRN's Maeve Conran reports. The post office in Ward, Colorado, in the foothills west of Boulder, is one of 11 facilities in the state on the list slated for possible closure. The question of financial viability in a town of only 160 residents put the former mining settlement's post office on the discontinuance list. Pat Seifer is the town's unofficial historian. Actually, the post office was established in 1863, and it's the oldest continuously operating post office in the mountains. Aside from the history, Cypher says the post office plays a crucial role in the community. Well, for many people, it means just about everything in terms of their communication with the outside world. One of the things we don't have, and if you pull out your cell phone right now, you'll find out that you don't have cell service. <laughs> um, Because there's so many ridges and dips and valleys and mountains, the waves just don't go through. So um, most people don't have cell phones. And um, the same thing is true for Internet. Um, There are only certain places where Internet service works. In winter, the post office can be a place for people to warm up and to catch up with neighbours and find out the news of the town. And of course, it serves its primary role of being a mail hub. Good morning there, Fred. How are you doing? Hi. I'm surviving. 76-year-old Charlie Reutz says he goes to the post office most days. Gotta get the right key. Oh, I might lose my box. I don't have a mailbox here. Deliveries of medication make the post office a well, crucial part of his life. A nice thing to do daily. You know, go get your mail and it's nice to have a place where you can mail stuff and so I'm hoping it stays open. I get a lot of medicine you know I order it and they mail it to me so it's important to get your medicines. The Postal Regulatory Commission is the authority charged with making recommendations to Congress with regard to the closures. Mark Acton is the vice chairman of the PRC. Basically what they've done is uh, implement a number of parameters that they use to measure the uh, uh, viability of the rural and other post offices. And some of those uh, criteria include revenue thresholds as well as uh, proximity measures and those sorts of gauges. Acton says the more intangible factors like the role a post office plays in a community are also being considered. He says the commission is looking at post office closures having a possible disproportionate impact on rural communities like Ward, Colorado. In terms of, you know, that uh, matter of societal benefits where something that the Postal Service brings to the table that's beyond just delivery of the mail. It is, in many uh, rural communities, a center point of the community where individuals gather and exchange information, and and really it takes on a life that is different than what is typical of an urban post office. And those are important distinctions that the Commission and the Service need to keep in mind. Colorado Senators Mark Udall and Michael Bennett have written to the Postal Regulatory Commission asking them to carefully consider the effects on rural communities and small towns. Earlier this month, Senator Bennett announced that the Postal Service was calling a timeout on the discontinuance process while these factors can be fully examined. The timeout may not stop proceedings to shut down the ward location, but residents hope it will at least slow down the process. I just am outraged by the idea that the Postal Service is being put into the hands of privatization. That's ward resident and town council member David Grimm. It's called a service, not a business. The Forest Service doesn't make money. The public schools aren't expected to make money. And certainly the Defense Department isn't expected to make money. Uh, Why those of us that are the least able are being closed down is... Uh, it's just beyond comprehension. The public comment period for the discontinuance process ends November 30th.
Earlier this month, a Senate panel passed a measure that would prevent the US Postal Service from closing rural post offices. The measure, proposed by Senator John Tester, a Democrat from Montana, was added to the 21st Century Postal Service Act and prevents the closing of rural post offices until USPS establishes criteria determining whether a post office should be closed. That act is awaiting a vote by the full Senate. For FSRN, this is Maeve Conran.